The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs. The Not be with nobody else and he knew it. And he could do whatever he want to. Buckle up for the scandalous story of Kim Porter and Hip Hop Mobile. Diddy, beneath Porter's tragic end lies betrayal and possible foul play. Get ready for shocking revelations that could rock Hollywood. Has Puffy ever been in a coma? Has he, has anything happened to him? Talk of a revealing book targeting Diddy surfaced. Early autopsy suggested foul play with toxins found in Porter's body. Speculation arose that her expose had injured powerful figures. Federal raids on Diddy's homes reignited the controversy. We're actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say. As helicopters hover and handcuffs click, Diddy's alleged wrongs take the spotlight. Was Kim Porter's demise accidental or something darker? With lawsuits and shocking revelations, the truth emerges, revealing fame's shadowy side. It's safe to say not a lot of people know what's going on, and I'll bet he doesn't really know what's going on. Rewinding to the start, Diddy and Kim Porter's relationship was a turbulent ride from the 90s. Despite welcoming children together, legal battles over child support ensued. Though they briefly reconciled and had twin daughters in 2006, marriage was never in the cards for Diddy. Their 2007 split marked the end. I look forward to moving on with my life and my career and wish him prosperity, health and happiness in life and in love. Post-split, Diddy and Kim Porter prioritized co-parenting. Amid tributes, rumors of infidelity and paternity disputes swirled. Porter's death left unanswered questions, tarnishing Diddy's image. And poison, you know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. And Albie's recent claims cast doubt on Kim Porter's death, suggesting assassination over pneumonia. His emotional Instagram posts and cryptic remarks fuel speculation, leaving fans questioning the truth. Porter was working on a book before she died. Rumors swirl of Porter writing a tell-all memoir, possibly triggering foul play speculation. Fans analyze every detail, seeking clues to unravel the mystery surrounding her death. He has people followed, he has people watched, he does all kinds of and he's a piece of Amid renewed controversy, allegations against Diddy resurface, including claims of sexual assault. Past reports linking him to Porter's death tarnish his reputation. Venturous accusations raise questions about Diddy's involvement in Porter's fate. Albie's belief in foul play adds intrigue, leaving fans questioning the true nature of Porter's demise. Found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia like. Amid federal raids on Diddy's properties, rumors suggest a link to Kim Porter's death. Seized documents may include her rumored tell all memoir about her relationship with Diddy and others. Shockingly, the draft manuscript vanished with her missing laptop, sparking speculation from foul play to deliberate sabotage. Model and longtime girlfriend of entertainer Sean Diddy Combs, Kim Porter, was laid to rest yesterday in her hometown of Columbus, Georgia. As fans anticipate updates, Kim Porter's death reveals deeper complexities. Allegations of manipulation and abuse surface in Diddy's relationship. Testimonies from Jan Deal and Mark Curry shed light on darker aspects, including Deal's claim of Porter slashing Diddy's wrists in self-defense. One night uh, when they were at, at home, at Kim's house on 110th Street, he wanted to, you know, put his hands on her in the wrong way. In a heated altercation at Porter's home, she resorted to drastic measures to defend herself from Diddy's abuse, according to the Deal. Kim took one of those court screws and ripped his wrists up. He hit an artery. Curry's claim of Diddy breaking Porter's nose in jealousy echoes Deal's assertions of control, revealing concerning dynamics behind closed doors. And the only person that really put their hands on women really is people who have men who have feminine traits. So, you know, it really takes a coward to put his hands on a woman. Curry's assertion of Diddy wiretapping Porter's phone exposes their toxic relationship, revealing a pattern of manipulation and obsession. Speaking of Kim Porter, because you knew Kim Porter, is it true that Diddy broke her nose? Bust her nose, man.
Curry's assertion that Diddy hosted parties with spiked drinks raises troubling questions about his alleged misconduct, casting a dark shadow over his reputation. That's what the whole name bad boy comes from, that people don't really understand. What is it? What is a bad boy? What makes, why did he choose that? As allegations against Diddy mount, his reputation faces profound implications, with lawsuits alleging sexual abuse. Parallels between Porter's alleged experiences and those of other accusers paint a damning picture, raising urgent questions about her death. The specter of foul play challenges the official narrative, luring truth with speculation. The disappearance of Porter's rumored memoir adds intrigue, raising questions of suppression and sabotage. As the investigation unfolds, the truth remains elusive, exposing deceit and betrayal in Hollywood's shadows. Yeah, I think he's being, he, they making up, they, he's being humbled right now, which it took a long time. It takes a long time to humble an arrogant person. As we close this gripping chapter in Kim Porter and Diddy's saga, questions abound. What's your take on their tumultuous relationship and Porter's untimely demise? Share your thoughts below. Stay tuned for more revelations.